Great support coming from the crowd here for their man, Yoshich. Barat just staying comparatively still in relation to Stepan Yosic who's moving around using his leg like springs plenty of plyometric training going into this performance the referee stops the match because there's not enough action it's a passivity warning is being encouraged by the home crowd very good quite happy to sit in the center of the tatami waiting for the counter punch op opportunity into the last two minutes of the match referee stops once more for a passivity warning. Both of these players now on Keikoku, category two. Chuna Mawashi attempt there from Odur. Yeah, but it was blocked again, right from the beginning. Now it's Yosic who's commanding the center of the tatami. Has to move back, he comes in, pushes, he has left be a little bit careful here, he's holding on, he could get penalized and it is, it's going to be a, a category two warning for a girl that puts him on Hansaka Chui, he can't afford to do any more have any more warnings in category two or he'll lose the match with a Hansaku. Into the last one minute, 20 seconds. There is a Churazuki. And it is Burak Aurur who opens the score with a Yuko and the Senchu. His patience paid off, but he is on Hansa Kachui in category two, and Josic will make sure that he takes full advantage of that. He yeah. himself on Hansa Kachui now for holding on. Oh, good Gazzana Zuki there, wasn't it, Dominic? That high punch. Much to the dismay of the home crowd who want their man, Stefan Josic, to get back on terms. He trails now with two Yukos against him and the central advantage of a door. And he'll just take this opportunity to put his pad on, I'm sure, fairly slowly. Has a look over to his coach, thinking, now what can I do to get back into the match? Two-point score from a two-down kick or a three-point score from a head kick would certainly do. Even he has enough time to do two punches. But he's not uh, enough process. Trying to hook he's punch. And the, that was a clever move. He did the hook sweep. Threw two punches. The second one over the top to take the score. He's now on the scoreboard with a Yuko. He only trails by one point. He's still got 30 seconds of the match still to go. There's a good Azuki tried over the top again. And he's back on terms as far as Yukos are concerned. He just trails by that central advantage now. 
He needs one more point to take the European title away from Burak Dugur. If he can do so, there's a Jordan Chuki attack. We're into the last 17 seconds. There's a challenge from the coach from the Turkey. Turkish and, and, and uh, 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 Serbian. Both. So we have a challenge from both of them. So Giuseppe Zaccaro and Roland Lauder will now study the video review to see if either of those punches could score. And it's possible that both of them do. One is no. And one has been rejected. And that is against. And there's a second review, so the match was resumed at this point. Is there going to be a score? Have to wait for the video review to make their decision. We know that Yossi's challenge has been rejected. And oh, so has the challenge from the year. So the coaches have no more options on the plate. It's down to the last 14 seconds. It's 2 2. And in your future time, is desperately to come back into it. Agur still has the central advantage. And there's a contact violation here from. Stefan Yossic, that's a category one, so it doesn't affect his chances of winning it. Comes in with a Jordan Zuki there. And the Jordan Gazama Zuki desperately trying to get Jordan Yoko Gary from Stefan Yossic. But it is a win for Baruch Agur of Turkey, 23 years old, European Championship title.